Welcome to a virtually on-site visit at Infernal Rome, as Dante walks it in Inferno 18, lines 25 through 39. We are on the Angels Bridge, Ponte Sant'Angelo, that connects the Rione Ponte, the neighborhood over there, to Castel Sant'Angelo. Originally, the mausoleum of Emperor, Emperor Hadrian, built in the second century along with the bridge. The castle later on became the fortress of the popes, connected to the Vatican and St. Peter's Basilica, of which you can admire the dome in the distance, by a secret passage. Of course, this site was completely different in the year 1300, when Dante visited Rome or the next year when he came uh, as an ambassador from Florence. Um, the bridge wasn't adorned with these beautiful statues of the angels, um, the work of uh, the sculptor Gian Lorenzo Bernini and his workshops in the 1600s. And the Basilica of St. Peter's wasn't the beautiful Baroque um, fabric that you can admire nowadays, but it was the old early Christian Basilica built by Emperor Constantine in the first uh, half of the fourth century. The sinners in its depth were naked, those on our side of the center coming toward us, the others moving with us, but with longer strides, just as because the throngs were vast the year of Jubilee, the Romans had to find a way to let the people pass across the bridge so that all those on one side faced the castle heading over to St. Peter's, these on the other heading toward the mount. Here and there, on the dark rock above them, I watched horned demons armed with heavy scourges, lashing them cruelly from behind. Dante and Virgil, the characters, have just been deposited by the monster Gerion at the entrance of the eighth circle of hell, called Malebolge, or evil pouches, where fraud is punished. Indeed, fraud and treason punished in the ninth circle are the two most serious sins punished in hell, and they correspond to the, second, to the lowest section of um, this realm, and to the second half of the text of Inferno, Canti 18 through 34. Malebolge is divided into 10 pouches, each dedicated to a specific kind of fraud. Dante describes the scene in hell during the Holy Week of the Jubilee year 1300, which is when he sets his journey through hell, purgatory and paradise. He sees the sinners punished here, panderers and seducers, walk in circles in different directions and compares them to the traffic of the two groups of pilgrims who that same year 1300, at the same time as Dante the character walks in the first Bolgia, go towards and return from St. Peter in Rome by means of Ponte Sant'Angelo, the Angel's Bridge, which has been divided into two lanes of traffic. The first jubilee had been proclaimed by Pope Boniface VIII, Pope since 1294, born Benedict Caetani, with a bull that bestowed a universal dispensation from temporal penance for sins to all who would visit the basilicas of St. Peter and St. Paul for 30 consecutive days if Roman and for 15 days if a foreigner. The Pope's establishment of the first Jubilee was designed to gain control over and regulate a spontaneous movement of faithful, which risked posing a threat to the spiritual authority of the Church and the Pope, if left left to itself. Starting on Christmas Eve of 1299, the last day of the year, a huge crowd of faithful had flocked around the Basilica of St. Peter in Rome, a traditional place of pilgrimage because built over the tomb of St. Peter, convinced that they would receive an extraordinary perdonanza or absolution at the beginning of the new century. What drove this crowd to St. Peter was a spontaneous surge of faith connected to the messianic redemptive mission of Christ on earth. They were encouraged in this devotion by the intense preaching of the mendicant orders, Dominicans and Franciscans, and in particular, that of the spiritual Franciscans, which was based on a rigorous interpretation of the life of Christ as a model for the individual, as well as the collective Christian life, one that would lead to a renovation of the church. Dante simile creates a temporal and spatial doubling and overlap between what simultaneously is happening in Rome and in the first Bolgia in the year 1300, between a historical event happening at that time and the fiction of the poem that Dante presents as truth, though. If the pilgrimage in Rome mirrors an image of fraud, is Dante implying that the Jubilee pilgrimage is a fraud? Indeed, Dante places his reference to contemporary Rome, the Rome of the Jubilee year 1300, 
in the 18th canto, which is the central canto of Inferno. Canto 18 is preceded by 17 cantos dedicated to the prom and to the punishment of the sins of incontinence and violence, and inaugurates the series of 17 cantos devoted to the sins of malice, fraud and treason, those specific to human beings because they fully involve reason and a conscious will to sin. The reference to Rome is thus placed at the very textual center of the first cantica of the Commedia, and in the topography of hell, right at the entrance of Malebolge, which within hell itself constitutes a discrete, man-made dystopia, a place constructed of architectural motifs and landmarks of Italian cities, like Florence's Baptistry, Venice's Ponte, or Bridges, Pisa's Tower, where all basic principles of ordered civil society and civic community are completely subverted. Just as classical Rome, the Rome of Emperor Augustus, prefiguring the universal religious role of the city, is the first city whose name is uttered in the poem in Inferno I, contemporary Rome, the Rome of Boniface VIII, is the first city named in Malebolge and is represented by a series of clear antonomasia references to iconic places of the city. At the center of this Roman cityscape is the Christian heart of Rome, the Basilica of St. Peter's, and thus implicitly Pope Boniface VIII, who incarnated the corrupt temporal power of the church, its abdication of its spiritual mission. The map of fraudulent Italy in Malebolge, which represents the climax of a damnation of Italy that informs the whole Cantica, takes Rome in Inferno 18, the textual center of the Cantica, as its point of departure, at the very entrance of Malebolge. The simile provides an image of the city of Rome that is the reversal of that holy city of Rome that was established to be the sacred precinct of the successors of Peter that we have already encountered in Inferno II.